Samsung adds new Galaxy AI features, a larger battery, and a faster processor to offset the Galaxy Z Flip 6's higher cost, but the Flip phone still struggles to justify its new price, especially when rivals like the Motorola Razr Plus 2024 cost the same as before. I know price hikes seem inevitable for every gadget, but it does make it harder to convince people used to shilling out a 999 US dollar that sh they should pay 1099 US dollar for the Galaxy Z Flip 6 instead. This base model comes with a generous 256GB of storage and 12GB of RAM. If you demand more, there is also the 512GB option which raises the cost to a whooping 1219 US dollar. This inherently is a disadvantage for the Flip 6, especially when its closest competition is the 999 US dollar Motorola Razr Plus 2024. You also need to remember that the Galaxy Z Flip 6 is competing with other traditional flagship slates in the 999 US dollar range like the iPhone 15 Pro and Pixel 8 Pro. Pre-orders for the Galaxy Z Flip 6 are available right now with the phone going on sale at Amazon based by Samsung.com and other wireless carriers on July 24. There are a total of four color options to choose from silver, shadow, yellow, blue, and mint. Samsung.com also features a trio of exclusive colors crafted black, white, and peach. At first glance, it doesn't look like much has changed with the design of the Galaxy Z Flip 6, which sports a familiar trim and aesthetic as last year's Galaxy Z Flip 5. The phone remains incredibly compact when closed and its armor aluminum frame gives the Flip a solid feel in the hand. However, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 is not as ergonomic as I'd like because it's flatter edges. The only visible reference with the design this time around is how the outlines of the camera lenses are accented by by the same paint job as the phone, giving the phone a much more pleasing contrast. Speaking of creams, I really like the pastel-like color Samsung's using for the Galaxy Z Flip 6 like my blue colored review unit. It's better made too, with a matte finish that prevents smudges and fingerprints from darting up the Z Flip 6. The size and design of the Flex window also looks identical to late year, complete with the same fin color out on the bottom right where the cover display meets the cameras. While this gives a design identity for the Galaxy Z Flip 6, I was hoping that Samsung would follow Motorola's lead by increasing the display size even more. Samsung did increase the Flip 6's durability with a new dual rail hinge design giving the phone a more responsive feel whenever I close it. More importantly, however, the crease in the middle of the phone is much more subdued. In fact, I'd argue it's less noticeable than the Razer Plus 2024 crease. My only grip about the Galaxy Z Flip 6 design is that it's notoriously hard to open because of its flat edges and the tight seam between the two sides. I wish there was a lip of some kind around the edge because even getting my fingernails in between the two halves to properly open so unfolding the phone one-handed is harder. On another note, I am delighted by the dose of personalization that's added to the Flip 6 when it's paired with the new Flip suitcases that combine interactive block screens to the flex window. There are even a couple of new ones I checked out with built-in LEDs that light up the back of the phone, which takes power via the phone's wireless charging. These add-ons go a long way to make people take notice of the phone. I am very excited for the cameras in the Galaxy Z Flip 6. That's because the phone now features an upgraded 50 megapixel main camera paired with 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. The former is a huge step up from the Z Flip 5's 12 megapixel camera, but it is made better because of how the Galaxy Z Flip 6 leverage pixel binding to offer a reasonable 2x zoom with optical like quality. This is the smarter way to approaching the camera, seeing that it effectively offers the range in most triple camera setups but with a more compact dual camera arrangement instead.
There is also a new camcorder mode, just like on the Razer Plus 2024, that gives a nostalgic feel when the phones folded in the halfway position complete with zoom control at your fingertips. Another new feature is the intelligent way the Galaxy Z Flip 6 can frame my shots with AI zoom. No matter who I am shooting, whether it's just myself or a group of people, the AI zoom will automatically frame the shot correctly. Similar to Samsung's Galaxy S flagships, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 benefits from a rich camera app that's filled with all the modes you'd want in a phone and a few extras like hyperlapse, dual recording and portrait video. There is even a pro video mode with full manual control which few camera apps offer. I also love how the flex window can be turned on to act as a preview screen making it perfect for blogging and self recordings. As a videographer, these features are a tremendous help. The Galaxy Z Flip 6 is undoubtedly a phone for creators with its rich set of features and tools, but ultimately its camera performance will show me if it's worthy of being a best camera phone contender. Here are some camera samples of Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6. I genuinely like the Galaxy Z Flip 6. It's a charming flip phone with more utility than the average slate while it's still offering one of the best in-class cameras among foldables. There are also the handful of new Galaxy AI features that add a dash of extra convenience into the mix. Despite all of this, it's hard to overlook how Samsung is demanding $100 more for this phone with a higher cost in tow. The Galaxy Z Flip 6 doesn't convince me enough that it's doing more or performing better than the competition and I don't have to look far because the Razer Plus 2024 proves my point. Not only does it have a much longer battery life and brighter screen, Motorola still manages to throw in a larger higher resolution outer screen. Given the $100 premium this foldable now commands, I was hoping for so much more with the Z Flip 6 to make it a compelling reason for people to upgrade or switch to it. Unless you find a deal that's hard to pass up, Samsung doesn't do as good of a job at convincing me that there is $100 worth of improvements in this year's device.